All right, hi everybody. How's it going? You're doing well. Uh, actually, we're going to find out how you're doing today because the question is, how are you doing on your burnout meter? <laughs> Where a one is, you're doing pretty good, hanging in there, and a ten is, <laughs> somebody help me. <laughs> so you can tell us what you're what you're feeling. I'm with Dot. I'm about it. That too right now it kind of ebbs and flows doesn't it like even throughout the day sometimes but go ahead and tell us how you're doing today and we'll do our best to support you yeah a burnout meter is something i just made up <laughs> if you're wondering what it is <laughs> i don't know that you're gonna be able to search the internet and find out what it is <laughs> it's a lot of twos i'll take it this is all right. Armstrong with eight PhD students. I'm going to guess that you're <laughs> above a two. <laughs> <laughs> I can't speak for you, but that's going to be a guess. <laughs> you are quite right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay, so um, let's see, I have a few things on the agenda for today. If, if you have things that you want to talk about too, um, feel free to add it to the agenda. So this this call, right? So for people, this is kind of just weekly progress as to how we're doing, things that people want to bring up, um, work that's going on in the chaos project. So I just wanted to keep people posted on the chaos metrics work that we're doing. It's slow, um, but it's going well. So Elizabeth and I are spending time on, um, basically we have all of these metrics, as you know, and we're slowly putting them into new templates. And so Elizabeth and I are just kind of slowly working our way through the, the pull requests that have come in to put these into new templates. You can see we're kind of tracking this as merged. There are a bunch of PRs for us to go through. Um, this is also, uh, kind of resulting in some changes we need to do to WordPress as well. So we basically just sit together and keep each other company while we merge pull requests and make changes in WordPress. <laughs> so it's just a collaborative effort to support each other. Um, so that's kind of what we're doing right now. This will probably take a couple months, to be honest with you, just kind of at the rate that we're going. Um, and so we've talked about this process for a while now, and I think things are going pretty well. Um, and by the way, there are, if you want to take a look, there are a few um, metrics that have been merged. And so I could just take a look at, say, row nine, activity dates and time. And basically, this is the metric now. So it's a much smaller version of what we had before. So we have the activity dates and time, just the title the question that the metric is addressing. We just have a single section, which is called overview now. We used to have two sections, which I think were called like description and objectives. So we've merged these to just be much simpler. And what we found, the reason we're doing this is because over the years, we found that people want to engage our metrics, honestly, just kind of to help them orient around particular ways of thinking or kind of understand what they should be considering with respect to health and sustainability. We now have this, this is the click if you want to know more. And this is all of our filters and visualizations and kind of ways to implement the metric, which was usually pretty long and kind of occupied a lot of space. So anymore, this is hidden on initial view, but it's available for people that want to know more. So that's kind of where we're at. I think it looks great, to be honest with you. And I think the work that, that is being done to get these into the new template is really coming along nicely. So again, this new template stuff is really not changing the content of the metric. These pull requests, it's really just changing this structure of the metric. And it's largely around merging this overview section and then kind of hiding this additional details or want to know more section. Any questions or comments on that? I think it's looking pretty good, to be honest with you. But like we have to do little things like when we're going through, there's little... Um, break tags that we have to add. Like I said, there's little things that we have to do in WordPress to make sure this banner doesn't get all messed up down here at the bottom. So <laughs> each metric takes about mm, 10 minutes to merge just as we click all the right buttons along the way. But I think we have that pretty well sorted out. Um, one of the things that, that we do have is we do have 
there were a series of citations that were provided for the metrics. And I think it's, this kind of came up last time in the meeting that not all the citations are probably uh, like perfect fits with the metrics. So the idea here is to, you know, types of contributions to identify literature that has been published that talks about different contribution types. That's what these citations are up here. So I'd like to put out there, um, if anybody is interested, and I'll put this in general as well, if anybody is interested in helping review those citations that just kind of give it a second, uh, second look, that would be really helpful. And then just to identify those as, yeah, this seems like a, a good um, support for that metric or no, this is probably something that should be removed or reconsidered. Well, I'm looking for volunteers on that and that's about it. So, uh, and then I don't know if, Peculiarly eager on not. I don't, I also don't think all of our PRs are in here as well. And I kind of, we need them in here because it's a little easier to find them. So if you have any interest in double checking the citations, uh, don't hesitate to let me know. All right. Okay. Uh, folks on the call. Um, I think there's, work continuing on education and badging. I don't see anybody here necessarily from those. Is anybody here from those projects? I think not really, but I was I was talking to Peculiar about it a little bit today. And there are there are a couple of scripts that you'd like people to review. So there's one on licensing, for example, that we really need someone with a little bit of legal background to take a look at. Um, and then there was the one on- itself, Not the recording. I'm sorry? Just the script itself, not the I, I know she needs feedback on several scripts. Uh, okay. I'm not sure about the recording. She might also need feedback on those. I was just giving feedback on some of the scripts. Okay. Okay. Any others that come to mind? There was a DEI one, I think, as well, that uh, she was looking for some review on. Okay. Okay. That's helpful. Thank you. But yeah, just reach out in the education channel or reach out to Peculiar if you're interested in doing some some reviews. They're, they're easy. The scripts okay. are like... Like it's just a couple of, it's basically five minutes of presentation. So it'll take you five, 10 minutes to read at the most. They're yes, super short. Yes. And um, I've done some review of those two before, some other ones. And oftentimes you can just make a comment like this needs to be cleaned up. <laughs> and mm -hmm. People will go back and try to clean it up or try to improve it. So it's not that, um, not that you have to provide everything. So I agree, that's a really great way to get involved. Um, I've also watched a lot of the videos, they're great. So based on the recorded script. Okay, thanks Don. Yeah. Um, badging, uh, I know that this is the time of year where we have a lot of um, event requests come in for badging. And I just wanted to kind of put it out there again. I know that I think Adinyenka is always looking for uh, badging review support. And they have some badger events out there to kind of help you understand how to actually do a review of somebody who has submitted an event to be badged. I've done plenty of badging myself. It doesn't take long. Again, it's another, I think it's a really great way to get involved in the project and just kind of see some of the metrics that are in practice. So if you have an interest in getting involved in doing DEI event badging, don't hesitate to reach out to myself or to reach out to Elizabeth or Arnyenka uh, to participate in that project. I do think things are going really well. And um, I think we're approaching 200 badged events, which is <laughs> just re kind of remarkable. That's a, a lot. So that's a nice high impact project that we've been running for, it feels like a couple of years now. Um, okay, so I think call for support on both of those in addition to the metrics. Any other comments or areas that people are kind of looking for support or could use a hand? I have a question about the badging. Yeah. Matt, um, if I have a student award program at GW where people can get credit or get entered into a lottery if they do an official... Um, if they have a, a official pull request accepted by an open source project, would the badging work fall under that? Would it? Um, 
so yeah well so like they would you have them contribute to the badging project like the workflow of some sort is that the idea no i mean what you just were asking for to have people review so what, somebody else's all that they end up doing is the event organizer submits an issue and then they just comment on the issue so they don't actually create that the reviewer doesn't create a pr okay do you use like the all contributors to get credit that way mm -mm. so the way that we do it is if So just here, so the way that it works is the person obviously submits, you know what I mean? So they submit their event and they do the whole thing. And then the reviewers are just tracked here in this table. But it's a it's only through an issue, not through a PR. Okay. But they would but get like, credit as a, a reviewer gets credit as a contributor. Yeah. 100%. Okay. I mean, right here. Okay. So each one of these people. And this is also in the... Here, hold on just a second. It also shows up like at a larger table. I think we... Oops. I'm pretty sure... So this table, the table that I was showing you on the website, it's also here. So this is where it's pulled from. And I can, so it's a little bit, you just kind of kind of see it a little bit more clearly across all of the events and all of the reviewers. Okay, cool. Thanks. Yep. Want me to drop this in there for you? Sure. Okay. Perfect. But again, they don't, it doesn't show up as a PR, but it certainly does show up as a contribution. Um, I, I will say this, I'm pretty sure that there are other ways, I didn't like on the badging bot that we have. So we have a bot when the submission comes in, it's a bot that handles a lot of the um, kind of the workflow and I think there are some open issues on there as well that would result in a PR. I don't know how comfortable your students are on like making. Yeah, I was specifically looking to get non STEM students involved in open source, but we have plenty of technical students that. Oh, well, this would be a great way because really all that we're asking for with the Badgers is um, the event organizers make a declaration. Like, I have an event code of conduct and here's a link to it. And the Badgers just click it. And just make sure that the event code of conduct is actually publicly accessible. And if it's not, they're like, they just type, <laughs> I don't see it. Could you please update your link? Perfect. Um, or there's a claim of, say, family friendliness by the event organizer. And it's, again, just the reviewer that, you know, makes sure that that information is online and available and seems to be in line. So it's very non-technical type of contribution. That'd be Excellent. great. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, great. Um, okay. So I only have a, one more thing. And I just, I, I just, I don't know that we talk about this much here in the chaos project, but I do just want to point out to people that a lot of our finances here in the chaos project are publicly available. I don't know that this necessarily shows everything in terms of how money is spent, but um, this, this, is the open collective dashboard that we have. We've been sitting at about $9,000 for, feels like forever. So our spend and our in and out is about the same just about every year. Um, and then we do have a second one that we use and it's LFX crowdfunding. And so as an, as a Linux foundation project, we're also, um, we also have access to this crowdfunding service. We typically try not to use this LFX crowdfunding and just, so people know how money flows here. Um, but occasionally we have to, uh, for example, if a company is providing support for chaos con sometimes and they need a legal contract signature, 
for that sponsorship, we have to have the Linux Foundation sign that contract for us. We can't actually sign the legal documents. And once that gets established, the money then will flow through LFX crowdfunding. So we usually can't have, say, the Linux Foundation sign the contract and then have the money go to our open collective account. So we do always have two accounts. Uh, here, we try to keep this one as low as we can all the time. So we try to spend this one down. You can always take a look at, at how we are distributing money. And you'll see a lot of these are associated with like all things open. I would say the biggest movement of our money is with respect to chaos cons, just the in and out. Um, and then also perhaps our attendance at conferences. So like we do poker chips. I think you can see Elizabeth bought a Lego set to bring to all things open for, it was fairly, I think it was, I don't even know how much it was. I think Lego sets are kind of expensive, <laughs> $250 for a Lego set. So um, I just want to point this out to people that all of these types of transactions are are open and transparent to everybody. And you are more than welcome to take a look and ask questions against this open ledger uh, all the time. And again, we do try to use open collective more than we try to use um, LFX crowdfunding. And then there is technically a third account that we have. So we originally had um, Chaos Africa was set up as a foundation under Open Collective, but Open Collective shut down their foundation accounts, so they no longer support that. Um, and so Ruth has been moving that over to Superbloom, a different group that will help manage the Chaos Africa. So we're actually going to have three different accounts. <laughs> One that we try not to use very much. Open Collective is is really the one that we try to use most often. And then Chaos Africa is kind of moving to a, a different location. Um, but it will also be an open and transparent ledger. I don't know that we ever talk about this in this meeting, but I thought it might be interesting for people. I don't know if anybody has any questions or or thoughts on on our money. Something we share with the board regularly. Like I said, we've seemed to be we seem to be at that ten thousand mark pretty pretty regularly, all the time, which is a nice spot for this community to be. I think that's a nice amount of money for us. We have we are going to be spending money on the metrics redesign. We had talked about that here, so our accounts will go down just a little bit. Um, but anyway, it seems pretty healthy. Okay, what is your mm -hmm. staffing like? Is there any full time part time support? Um, yes. So there are people that are paid for the project, but they are through the university. So like grants, you know what I mean? So they're actually like university contractors. Yep. Um, and that's usually it. There are times where like, even at the university, we have provided like, um, travel support sometimes. This is over the course of like the last nine years for people. And those aren't, as you know, working at a university, those are not going to be public ledgers. <laughs> so, okay. Um, but is more deeply to your question. I don't think through these crowdfunding efforts, like this, these types of accounts will ever have enough to really to support staff. It doesn't seem to be. Um, possible. We've had this conversation before um, in the community, and it just doesn't seem to be an angle we're taking. But never say never. What's that? But never say never. I never say never. I, I agreed. How about this? It doesn't seem to be an angle we're taking at the moment. <laughs> yeah, I'm on. I'm on other boards for open source organizations, and um, the. It, it's really difficult to support salaries out of kind of these these types of volunteer contributions or even company contributions because they're they're so hit or miss in a downturn you get no money and then you have to lay people off and you know in an upturn then you've got you've got more money and so the grants are a lot more stable way to to fund that and I think early we had talked about, not that it was ever going to happen, but the way the Linux Foundation is structured to have paid board members or board members who pay to be on the board, that was just not a structure that we ever really talked about in the chaos project. 
Does is Kubernetes are those paid Don on the board? No, um, they they have they don't have a board. They have a technical steering committee, and those people are elected. Um, and they're they're typically employees at a lot of the big companies that support sure. Kubernetes, but in some cases they've been people who were doing it on their, on their own time. Okay. Okay. I do know there are projects in the LF where the board membership is a kind of a paid position <laughs> typically. So I don't think we'll ever go that way. Okay. Um, were there any other things that people wanted to bring up? I think I have a few reminders, time sensitive reminders for folks, but was there anything else that you have on your agenda or things that you wanted to talk about that you're doing, updates that you want to bring forward? Yeah, David. I have one question, I guess. Um, I had a great meeting with a project called p5.js, which seems very simpatico with your um, method or ethos of value, um, valuing all contributors. And they use something called allcontributors.org to okay. manage we that. Talked about this, haven't we? Don, does that sound familiar? It does sound familiar. I'm I'm not sure exactly exactly how we've looked into it. It's uh, Elizabeth would know. I was wondering if you're using it or or not. It's supposed to make the management of valuing all those contrib contributions that are not code um, much easier on the, the maintainers of the project. Yeah, we don't, We I know that we don't use it, but we do have a way to do that. So we have, um, a, I think it's a bot that Sean yep. wrote that you submit an issue and say, this is in a template that says, this is the contribution I made. And it puts it on a page where we keep all of the contributions. So anybody can submit their additional contributions to the chaos project and we track we track them that way. Okay. Their thing is a bot too. So I, I wonder if he's leveraging that or just doing his own. Yeah. yeah let me, yeah. Uh, oh, go ahead. I'm oh, no, sorry. I said, I don't know. Okay. Does anybody else remember this conversation? I'll, when Elizabeth gets back, I'll bring it up. I don't remember what, well, the, the result was we're not currently using it, <laughs> but why, <laughs> why we came to that conclusion. I don't remember. How we got there and i could probably look back in the minutes as well nothing else from me thanks okay um this is more a note for myself don i was going through some of your practitioner guides and the contributor metric is currently broken looks like that which is not very helpful oops whatever that was <laughs> that huh. doesn't I just it's something funky. Just have to get that fixed. Is that on is that on my side? Like did I put the wrong URL in the practitioner guide? Or you mean this is on the WordPress side? I well no, because this seems to be lining up. Ah, uh, yeah. You know, everything seems okay. On the like, like, the like that. issues on the WordPress side. Anyway. Seems like something we should clean up. So yeah. Kevin. I think it's on the WordPress side. That's more yeah, than I think this is coming from the merge metrics. I was observed it? this when I was going through the merge metrics. You saw this one when you were kind of going through? Yes. Okay. I'll put when it. I, I when I clicked on it, I didn't see uh, that page fully. So I had a mind okay. to bring it up. Okay. I'll yeah. just kind of mark this. It exists in GitHub, right? Well, I clicked on the yeah. wherever I clicked. This doesn't exist. So did the did the address change in GitHub? Maybe. I'll 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 okay. take a peek at it. I, I can I can probably fix it pretty fast. Okay. Well thanks. Which, Kevin. Okay. which one is it? Contributors. That one, can you see my screen? Just contributors, that's it. And the, the location is in the old... Uh, it's here. The old metrics working group. I'll put it in the chat. 
Oh, this is a metric that was moved? I don't know. I, I don't, I literally don't know. Oh, okay. Can you, can you permit me to look into this uh, and then probably fix it? I think I, I know where it's coming from. Okay. I only came across this like 10 minutes before this meeting. <laughs> so I, I have no info. <laughs> If you uh, if if you need me to fix something on the WordPress side, uh, go ahead and take a peek okay. at it, and then just reach out to me and let me know if you need me to uh, uh, change something on the WordPress side. It looks, sure. like that. it looks like it's missing on the GitHub side. Yes, that's why I want to look into it from that side, so I know what's happened. Yeah. Then I'll reach out to you, Kelvin. Then for the WordPress side. Cool. Thanks, Peculiar. Okay. Uh, is it time sensitive reminders? Um, we have a variety of conferences coming up. Uh, FOSDEM is surprisingly not that far away anymore, which means ChaosCon is not that far away which is kind of cool. I'm excited. I was thinking about our location in uh, Brussels. It's really just a really nice location, even if it's cloudy, because we have a lot of windows. <laughs> you can kind of look out across the city. Um, so anyway, just keep these uh, on your calendar. We do Our community survey is still open, so I really do encourage you to take that survey. It's We, we really reflected on the last survey that we had from contributors in ways to make the newcomer experience better. Uh, let's see. Moving down, I think, do we, is this weekend time change for us in the US? <laughs> it is. Yes, I think. it okay. is. And a bunch of us have already changed uh, times. So this is, this is the confusion week right here. We're okay. midway through it. It's great for me. All of my meetings are done an hour earlier this week. And so I get to I get to finish early, which is pretty cool. Okay. Until next week though. And then you're back on. Then you're back. Yeah, with... exactly. Just for okay. one week. <laughs> okay. It's killer during the spring one because all my meetings get an hour later. Immediately go the other direction. <laughs> all right. Well, just keep in mind things are shifting a lot and there's we're doing our best, but there's just not a whole lot we can do about it. So <laughs> Keep yourself updated when it comes to calendar stuff. Uh, if you, uh, I think I wanted to highlight this one. If you have somebody that you would like to nominate for Chaotic of the Week, uh, please do so. Just click that link. I think this is really important to recognize the work that people are doing within the project. So feel free to click that. You can read the rest. I'm done. <laughs> we made it through and we, we were fixing things and had a good conversation. So I think we'll head out. Um, have a good rest of the day, everybody. And we'll talk to you all later, okay? Thank you, bye. Okay, take care, you bet. Is there bye. a chaos con meeting after this? Um, Thank you guys. Oh yeah, you, you bet. Thanks, Harmony. Um, I'll put something, Kevin, I'll put something in the general channel just that we could like hop on if people want to talk. I know that Elizabeth isn't here. I don't know if you heard me saying that earlier. I'm going to stop the recording. I, I was a little late, so I missed it. Okay.